Hey everyone, welcome back to React course. In this lecture, we are going to understand what is ECMAScript 6 modules. In the JavaScript course series, we had not described what module is all about, but in this lecture, we will understand what is ECMAScript 6 module. When using React, it is very crucial to understand ECMAScript 6 module before you move further. So in this lecture, we are going to understand what is ECMAScript 6 modules. The first question comes in your mind is what is module? A JavaScript module is a piece of reusable code that can easily be incorporated into other JavaScript files. Until recently, the only way to work with modular JavaScript was to incorporate a library that could be handled importing and exporting modules. Now with ES6, JavaScript itself support modules. JavaScript modules are stored in separate files. One file per module. There are two options when creating and exporting a module. You can export multiple JavaScript objects from a single module or one JavaScript object per module. Everything inside an ECMAScript 6 module is private by default and runs in the strict mode. Public variables, functions and classes are exposed using export keyword. Now, let's take an example and understand how to create modules using ECMAScript 6. So we have two files here. First is magic.js and second is main.js. In magic.js file, I will just create two functions. The first function is using function keyword and the second is using the arrow function. We will specify export keyword to both functions to export this function from the module. We will export this both function using export keyword, right? So I will just create my first function here. So I will just say export function and specify name sum and specify two arguments a comma b. And just after that here, I will call multiplication function. So I will just say here multi and in the parenthesis, I will say a comma b. I will just specify the arguments here. Just after that, I will say console.log and print the addition of a and b here so i will just say a plus b right so this is my first function now i just wanted to create my second function using arrow function right so i will just say here export let multi is equal to and in the parenthesis i will specify two arguments just specify arrow here and in the body of this function, I will say console.log and specify multiplication with two arguments. So I will just say a multiply by b, right? Now you can export this function using a single statement as well. So I will just remove this export keyword and just say here export. And in the curly braces, you can export this function on single line as well. So I will just say sum comma multi. So this statement will export both functions at the same time, right? Now, this is our module. In this module, we had exported two functions. Now here, we are going to use this code in other JavaScript file. As you know, module provide us reusability of the code. So I will just use this function in the other JavaScript file. So let's see how you can access these functions in the other JavaScript file. So we have an import keyword to import this function in the other JavaScript file. But before you import this function in other JavaScript file, make sure you specify type attribute to the script tag. Script which use module must be loaded by setting a type module attribute in the script tag. Don't forget to specify this attribute before you're using module in the JavaScript file. Otherwise, you will get an error message. After you specify your attribute to the script tag, you can use module in the main.js file. To import this function in the main.js file, you can use import keyword. So I will just say import. To import both function, I will say curly braces here and specify sum, comma, multi. So this is my two functions. And I wanted to import these functions from a specific file. So I will just specify from here and in the double quote, I will specify module file name. Now here, I just wanted to specify where from I want to import this function. So I will just specify name of my module file in the single or double quote. 
Keep in mind, we had created both this file on the same location. If you create the model file in the folder, then don't forget to specify the absolute file name in the double code. So we had created this file on the same location. So I will just say dot here, specify forward slash and specify name of my file with extension. So I will just say magic.js, right? And specify semicolon at the end. Now you can use these functions in the main.js file. To use this function, just specify your function name. So we know that the name of my function is sum and then specify value. So the first argument will be four. The second is five, right? So when you execute this file, you will get multiplication and the addition of two numbers because we had called multiplication function in the sum function, right? You are free to import multiple modules in the same file. So basically, modules are used to create reusable code. Now you can use these modules anywhere in the JavaScript code. You can use namespace as well to import all public items like this. So I will just remove these curly braces from here and just say asterisk as mode. So now you can use this namespace to call any properties and functions from the module. So I'll just say mode.sum and specify 4 and 5 here, right? So you can access the sum function using the namespace. You can call the multi functions as well. So I will just say mode multi 5 comma 6 and just execute this statement, right? So it is very important to use module when you're using React. If you're using Node.js, which we'll talk about after a few lectures, is use different keywords to import and export modules. I will talk about what is Node.js in future lectures, right? That's it. I hope you understand why we need to use modules in the JavaScript and how to use it. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. Answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to remember this topic more easily and improve your knowledge. That is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.